I don't think what she's saying is scripture. Mabel, what you're saying in scripture? That ain't scripture. I'm not even real sure it's anatomically possible. We've had extensive experience in the church world, and uh, we would love to use that experience to help you grow. $175,000 for repairs? We'll be left with a half-empty building with extra resources, and we could share those resources. Uh, I think that Terry should come and stay with us. Who will you lay down your life for? So are you sure? It's so big and open and new. Yeah, but does it come with a new pastor too? If you don't stop it, it may come with a new deacon. Think of it, Lamar. Think of how the church can grow in here. I'm excited. Well, the only thing I'm excited about is not having to pay $175,000 worth of repairs. Come on, let's sit and wait over here. Pastor Lynn should be here in a couple of minutes, and she says she wants to talk to the both of us. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll get some shopping done and maybe grab some lunch. That should put us back here in about three hours or so. Okay. See you then. Be safe. So where is she now? She had to go up to Atlanta for an emergency hospital visit. Good, so we can go home. I, there's some great NCAA games coming on. No, we're going grocery shopping and then you can take your beautiful wife out to lunch. You have some money? Your money. Then can we go home? No, then we're coming back here. End of story. Man, I've missed every NCAA game this year. Hey, Deacon Hall, how you doing, hey, man? Hey, Brother Timmerson, how you doing? Man, doing well. How about yourself? Man, it's been a long time. Hall? It has. Am I interrupting anything? No, no. Man, you're looking mighty dapper. Well, the love offering has been pretty good this revival season. I'll say. So what brings you to our neck of the woods? Well, I just took a chance. I might get a chance to see you. Oh, is the senior pastor in? No, she's in Atlanta making a hospital visit. And she'll probably be gone for a while. Why, did you need to meet with her? Uh, no, actually, I wanted to speak to you about a pretty delicate matter. Are we free to discuss that? Sure, go ahead. No prying ears? Well, Gina's in the back in the pastor's office making phone calls. Mary, would you like to go back in the back and make some phone calls with Gina? Yeah. No, don't make these claws come out on you today. Deacon, go ahead. How can we help you? Well, we. perhaps we can help each other. And I'm, I'm not one that listen to what's on the grapevine, but mm -hmm. it's been said that you might have some misgivings about the direction your church is being taken in. Lamar, have you been out there grumbling against Pastor Lynn again? No. Well, I may have said something to a couple of friends. <clears throat> a couple of friends. 
I am so disappointed in you. Listen, when the church is the only thing that a man has and it starts crumbling around him, I think he's got the right to complain and grumble every once in a while. And I can certainly relate to that, uh, but I may have a solution. Hmm. Well, go ahead. I'd love to listen to your solution. Well, here's the situation. It listen may be to the solution, not blab it all over the place. Don't pay any attention. Go ahead. Here's the situation. It may be similar to yours. Some of our folk, including the pastor, has gotten into this juke and jive stuff. Mm. Uh, guitars and drums, waving flags up and down the aisles, and dancing. Man, it's just not dignified. You got to be kidding me. Dancing? Yeah. Uh, it just might be called praise and worship. Honey, what are you doing here? You are supposed to be at home resting that knee. Honey, you should listen to your mother. How much rest do I need? I needed to get out. I was driving by and saw the car outside. Thought you two might like lunch. Should we continue this conversation later? No, no, no. I want to hear this. Finally, somebody who sees things the way I do. Sees things the way he does. We, uh -oh. like We're the only the ones. Uh, excuse me, ladies. Can you please be quiet and let the deacon finish? Uh, like I was saying, some of our folks just don't appreciate the old ways. Quite frankly, man, I think they've lost their ever-loving mind. And if this type of madness doesn't stop, it's going to ruin our church. Same thing that's happening here because of this new pastor and her clowning around. Wow. Dad, it would do you well to remember the only reason I'm back in church <laughs> is because of this new pastor. You know that's true, Lamar. Okay, okay. But can you please just let the deacon finish? Yeah, we were perfectly happy with Pastor Diggs until he decided he wanted to go on this retreat, say he needed to hear from the Lord. I'm not sure who he heard from. But just say when he got back, our ways were no longer his ways. Man, it's like he brought back some type of disease. Disease? disease. Pouring out your heart to the Lord in praise and worship. That's a disease? Now let me Honey, tell you something. Calm. Calm down. Gentlemen, times are changing, you know.